Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Hotpoint NSWE742 washing machine. Now this particular model has a maximum load of up to 7 kilograms. There are other models in the range, so there are 8 and 9 kilogram versions that look very similar to this, so the displays are pretty much the same. There are also different models like the NSWF range. Uh, the main difference between the E and the F are uh, there are certain models for certain retailers but you'll notice that the design of the machines are pretty much the same. So for any of the features and benefits I'll show you will be pretty much the same across the whole of the range. So anyway, I've got it plugged in, let's have a look. So first of all I'll show you the dimensions of the machine. Uh, the widths are fairly standard, that's 59.5 centimetres wide and the height is standard, that's 85 centimetres. Uh, the main things that can vary between all washing machines are the depth so if you're looking at just the top part, then that one is only 51 centimetres. Although if you need to know the complete depth of the machine, so from the very back to the very front of the handle, then you're looking at around 57 centimetres. So first of all, I'll show you the control panel. And the on and off button is in a little bit of an odd place, to my liking. Uh, it's on the left hand side here amongst the programs. It, it's almost as if they've forgotten to put it on and then the guy designing it uh, has realised that at the very end of his task where he's got all the control panels sorted that the very last thing was to put the on and off button on and he's just found somewhere amongst the programs which for my, as I say for my liking is a little bit random I just feel there's plenty of space over here uh, but anyway so that's where that is so the programs themselves are quite varied and what you will find is as you go round all the different programs that don't assume that all of them are for a maximum 7 kilogram or even the maximum 1400 spin speed because on this machine it has a maximum spin speed of 1400 uh, but clearly you can vary it, I'll show you that in a moment um, so really what you need to get used to is learning which programs uh, do the temperatures and the spin speeds that you require so this top top one is always quite a, quite a popular one that's the mixed program so as standard it would take around an hour and a half uh, and that one you can do on a 1400 and you can put a full 7 kilogram load in so that's probably one of the more popular loads that people will tend to use um, what I will do is I'll just show you this because this is the temperature selector so you can vary the temperature for each program and on this one the maximum you can go to is 40 degrees and as it shows that that can go down to even a cold temperature wash which is always quite useful uh, you have got the spin speed option as well so as you press the button then it reduces it in 200 speed increments which is always really good and again you've got the option for a no spin option at the end uh, what you will find and I suppose with a temperature reduction then if you're not having to heat the water so warm then it can reduce the time as well and that's showing it from an hour and a half down to the hour and 15 minutes a moment ago. Uh, the next program is quite an interesting one. Uh, initially, when you first see the time on here, because on here this is the time remaining for each program, uh, for quite a few people then three and a half hours is quite a, quite a scary amount of time to do one load. Um, but this is a new requirement from 2021 that all washing machines will need to have this program, the Eco 4060. And the idea of this is it's designed for clothes that you would normally wash in either a 40 or 60 degree program, uh, but it, what it would do is it will actually wash them at 40 degrees. So you don't have a choice, and as it says there, it will only wash at 40, but it's really designed for clothes that you will wash it, as I say, 40 or 60, and it is a slightly longer wash, so it will take, uh, if you're doing a full load, then it could be around three and a half hours. If you're only doing half a load, then it could be around two and a half hours. So what it will do is this machine will detect the load that's in there. So it sends a certain amount of water through to start with, and depending on how much water is saturated, then it will determine the length of the program that's required. And that's a fairly standard uh, concept now with, with most washing machines. Uh, so as you go around you've got things like the cotton program 
Uh, I won't cover all of these because there's quite a, a lot to choose from. Uh, but you've even got things like the delegates and the, the war programs. Uh, you will find that on some, I suppose some of the more delicate programs, that the spin speed is set to a maximum of 800 spin. You can vary it, so it can go lower if you want to. Uh, but clearly if you're washing your woolens, you wouldn't want them to be spun at, say, a 12 or 1400 spin. Uh, you have got other things like the spin and drain or rinse and spin at the bottom there. So if you've hand washed something, then you've got the option to rinse and spin it, which is always really good. And what you can do is you can actually uh, set the spin speed so you can vary that as well. So it's things like that, which we do get asked for a lot. So the next program is this one, it's the baby program. So clearly you're not gonna wash your baby in here, but this program has been designed for baby clothes. And what Whole Point have said, and I'll read it from the instructions because it's quite detailed this is. Uh, the cycle has been designed to reduce the amount of bacteria by using a great qu greater quantity of water and optimizing the effect of special disinfecting additives added to the detergent. So that sounds really, really in depth. Uh, basically, if you're washing your baby clothes or nappies uh, that have got typical baby soilings on, as Hot Point call it, then this is the program for you. So anyway, the next one is the 20 degree program. Uh, you will find a lot more manufacturers of detergents are working on much lower temperatures. Uh, so if you are washing at some of the low temperatures like 20 degrees, then there's a dedicated program. And with that one, that can only go to a maximum of 20. And the spin speed, again, can go in around the well, between one and two hundred increments, so there's lots of flexibility on there. Uh, you've got some specialised programmes, things like the duvet programme. Uh, the next one is the white, so if you are washing your whites, then I suppose something to note is that this is the only programme now that can go up to a 90 degree wash. Uh, if, if you go back several years, then quite a few of the other options you'd be able to go up to 90. Uh, but I suppose manufacturers are realising that not as many people are washing at very high temperatures now. So it's quite interesting that there's only one programme on here that can go up to a 90. The next programme to show you is this one. It's the 13 minute programme. And this is really designed for, I suppose, small loads. Uh, you wouldn't be able to wash that much in, uh, in around half an hour. Uh, but with this one, it's a maximum of three and a half kilograms. And the maximum spin speed on this is 800. So just show you on here, so you can't go higher than 800. So if you just really want to, I suppose, freshen up clothes, then that's quite a good one. The next one I think will be a very popular one. This is the full load, 45 minutes. Uh, so as it says, you can wash a full load of clothes uh, at a maximum of 40 degrees. So you can't go higher than 40. You can go lower if you want to. Uh, but if you want to wash a full load, so if you really are in a hurry, then this could be a good program. And with that one, the maximum you can go to is 1200 on that one. Uh, but again, you can wash the seven kilograms. Uh, with these type of programs, the energy efficiency isn't quite as good. So don't always assume that because it's a quick program that you're saving energy. Uh, if anything, you are using more energy because it's having to do everything a lot quicker. And also the wash performance won't be quite as good on these programs as you're looking at, especially at some of these programs. Just talking about the energy efficiency. Uh, I know for some people it's probably not of interest, uh, but when it comes to water consumption, then clearly when you set the programs, you don't really know how much water they're going to use. Uh, all of the information is in the instructions. And just to give you an idea, so if you were to use this program, so this is the, the proper eco program uh, that manufacturers would like to think that people are gonna use, then for that program, that will use around 48 litres of water. Uh, compared to, if you were to select that one, then that one for almost the same program will use around 75 litres. So the timing isn't too different, uh, but just going from that program to that program, you're going to from 48 to 75 litres. Uh, and also, if you go around to, say, even something like the 20 degree program, so although you've got the that's it. So although you've got the low temperature, the amount of water that's used is 64 litres. 
So what you're saving on the temperature, you are using quite a bit more water. And the white program, so with that one, then you're up to 66 litres. So some of these programs, which are fairly standard for most people to use, um, I'd recommend just having a read through the instructions. I know for most men that's quite alien, uh, especially for me. I'm not normally one for reading instructions, but I'd recommend if you've got this machine, then just have a quick read through it. Um, just decide which programs you would use and then you can follow the instructions with the, all the rest. So as I move across the right hand side of the display, then this one is the delay timer. Uh, so what you can do is if you're using things like Economy 7 uh, or if you just want to, the machine to be delayed, then you've got this option here and as it shows it goes up to 24 hours and then it just goes back to the standard. So that's always a useful option. Uh, the next one is the key lock, so with this one, if you've got children in the house that like to come along and play with the buttons during the wash, then this is really good because what you can find is that that will lock the display. So all you do is you press and hold that for two seconds and then to release it, you press and hold that again for two seconds. Uh, so it's nice to know it's got that. The next one is the extra rinse. If you've got people in the household that suffer with things like skin allergies and if you want to make sure that everything is rinsed thoroughly or to have extra rinses then you've got this option here. So as you can see it does add extra time onto the end of the program but if you are a family or if you've got a family member that suffers with skin allergies then I think the extra time is well worth it. So all you do is you find a program because it's not on all programs but this is on the white program at the moment. Press the extra rinse button and as it's showing it's adding an extra 14 minutes here and to take it off you just press the button again. On the very right hand side here you've got something called extra touch and the two options here the first one is the rapid option and what this will do is this will reduce the program time of some of the programs around the center here. So first of all if we press that that's showing that I'll just show you that again so a standard that program will be an hour and 40 press that and it reduces it to an hour and again it's not available on all programs but it's really nice that you've got the flexibility so, and the next option on the extra touch button is called steam hygiene so when you press that as you can see it does add quite a bit of extra time to the program so a standard that would be an hour and 40 if you press that once to to reduce the time is an hour or as if you want to have the standard time plus the steam hygiene, then it takes it to around two hours. Uh, but basically, what Hotpoint claim is that in, it enhances the wash performance by generating steam during the wash cycle to remove any bacteria from the fibers. And then at the bottom there, you've got the start and the pause option. So clearly that's when you want to start the program. Uh, you do have the option to pause the program. Uh, this is, I suppose, really when you've just started the program. Before any of the water's come in, then you can pause it and just pop in the last sock that you've forgotten to put in. Uh, I suppose if you do get too far into the wash then you wouldn't want to pause it. Uh, well it doesn't allow you to because there'll be too much water in there. Uh, just wait till you put the next load of washing in to put that last sock in. So the next thing to show you is the soap drawer on the left hand side. Now Hotpoint have done this design for I suppose several years now. Um, it is a little bit different from the market standard where the drawer just pulls out. Uh, and I must say customer feedback is quite varied on this. Some people love it, uh, some others not quite so much. The main thing that I suppose people comment on is how to take it out. Um, it is quite an easy process once you know how. So really the way to do it is to lift the left hand side just to release it. And then you pull that part to release it. So it's nice and easy once you know how to do it. Uh, I'll just show you in here, so you've got the main wash, pre-wash conditioner, so that's a fairly standard layout. Uh, the good thing about being able to take it out is you can pop this into a dishwasher or you can give this a really good clean. Uh, and what it's done is it's just left the, the door on the front there, so you don't want to take that off. And then to put it back on, you need to locate it back here near the start of the drawer and push it along and then make sure it clips in there and then just lift it a little bit and then you're ready to shut the drawer and with this then what you'll find is when you open it it does lock at the end so you can't open it any further so as far as the door 
you've got a nice easy grip handle on the right hand side here and once you've opened the door then that's as far as it will open uh, it doesn't go quite as far as some other machines uh, but generally I think for, for this type of machine, for this low size, then it doesn't really need to go back any further. Um, what you will find is I'm really pleased that Hotpoint have put on metal hinges and you've got metal door catch as well. Uh, quite a few manufacturers of machines in this sort of price range are going towards plastic components which I'm not really a fan of. And it's a nice large porthole so this is 32 centimeters measured across here. So it's nice and big to get your clothes in and out of. There's nothing worse than having a small porthole on here because uh, what you can find is sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to get the clothes in and out of and sometimes you can leave items in there. So I'll just show you around the back of the machine and on here you've got the waste pipe on the left hand side. The water connection is at the top right on this machine. You do get a new hose with it so we always try and recommend using the a new hose on the these machines and you've also got the mains connection that's at the top left uh, the only other thing to mention is these are the four transit bolts make sure you take these out so if you're installing the machine yourself then you have to take these out um, once you've done that then completely remove them and make sure that the drum moves around a lot if you don't then it won't be covered under the warranty if you damage the machine if you're thinking about buying one of these machines i have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I hope you enjoy this quick video on the Hotpoint NSWE742 washing machine. Please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video, click subscribe and leave any comments below. I do always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad, about the video. Also, if you are thinking about buying one of these machines or a Hotpoint washing machine, then if you've got any queries, then again, leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you. What I also ask is if you have got one of these machines, or a similar one. Uh, I'm really interested to know what you think about it. So again, put it in the comments to let me know. Thanks for watching.